In this video tutorial, we're going to demonstrate how to configure DreamReport to connect to a GE Simplicity application for real-time historical and alarm values, how to log Simplicity real-time data using the DreamReport data logger, and how to create and generate reports with data from Simplicity using DreamReport. So let's talk about DreamReport's communication drivers for GE Intelligent Platform software. In this slide, we list all GE communication drivers included in DreamReport. We can categorize these into GE product families, GE Simplicity HMI, Prophecy Historian, and iFix HMI. In this presentation, we'll focus on GE Simplicity, with connectivity to historical data and alarm messages stored using Simplicity's SQL Server database, and live data directly from Simplicity using the DreamReport OPC VA driver. In this final slide, we'll follow a typical workflow in creating a Dream Report project using GE Simplicity data. First, we'll open the Dream Report Design Studio and create a new project. Then, we'll configure an instance of the GE Simplicity Historical Values driver to point to the process data logged to the Simplicity SQL database. We'll also configure an instance of the GE Simplicity Historical Messages driver to point to the alarm and events data logged in the Simplicity SQL database. And finally, we'll open an OPC DA driver and add and configure an instance pointing to the Simplicity HMI OPC server for accessing real-time tag values. For the real-time data source, we then need to create item logging groups to store the data into the database of our choosing. At this point, we're ready to create a new report. We can drop any kind of tabular, chart, or calculation object on the report and browse the Simplicity real-time or historical tag values for use on the object. After configuring the object, we're ready to start DreamReport's runtime engine and generate the report. We have a Simplicity HMI demo application running that's simulating a plan process and is already configured to log data to the native Simplicity logging database. I'm going to start DreamReport Studio and open a blank reporting project which I had created earlier. After Studio opens, I'll open the Communication Configuration Wizard and expand the list of GE communication drivers. We'll only focus on the Simplicity drivers in this demo. Configuration of the Prophecy Historian and iFix drivers is covered in other video tutorials. The first driver I'm going to configure is the Simplicity Historical Values driver. This driver will expose the historical values of all tags that have been configured for database logging in Simplicity. We start by giving the instance of the driver a logical name and then click Configure. Typically, Simplicity logs its data to a database in a named instance of SQL Server, and then select the appropriate database. Enter any credentials, if needed, and then test the connection. Once the connection is verified, close the configuration window and make sure to add this instance to the list of defined drivers. The next driver I'm going to configure is the Simplicity Historical Messages driver. This driver will expose historical alarms and or events that have been configured for logging in Simplicity. We start by giving this instance of the driver a logical name, and then click Configure. We connect to the appropriate database again, enter any credentials if needed, and then test the connection. Before we add this instance to the list of defined drivers, we can configure various filters for the alarm and events. The default alarm filter will return all alarms or events as long as the alarm does not have a null value. You can define additional filters by specifying logical conditions on various alarm parameters. For instance, you might want to pre-filter the alarms to only expose high-priority alarms. In this case, we select the Priority property, set the filter condition for the priority to be less than 10, and then save these filter conditions under a new filter name. This filter can then be used later on when using the alarm table on a report. Click OK to add this instance to the list of defined drivers. In these first two examples, we are configuring DreamReport's GE-specific drivers to expose process data and alarm and event data. In the final example, we want to access real-time values from the Simplicity HMI that we can then log internally to the DreamReport database and to use on reports. For this, we go to the Open Communication Protocol section and select the OPC folder. Again, we start with a logical name and then configure the driver. We select the Simplicity HMI OPC server from the list of available OPC servers and test the connection. After adding this instance to our list of configured drivers, we can close the communication configuration wizard. 
Since Dream Report has a built-in data logger from which you can log any real-time data and alarms to the database format of your choice, we'll configure a couple of logging groups to log data from the real-time Simplicity data. Of course, if your data is already being logged using Simplicity's historical logging function, there's no need to create logging groups in Dream Report. I'll go to the Logger Studio section and right-click to create a new logging group. I'll name this group GRP Delta and we'll set the logging mechanism for all tags in this group to be stored on change. The source of tags for this group will be the Simplicity OPC server we configured a few minutes ago. You'll notice that the browsable tag structure is exposed through the OPC server. I only want to add one tag to this group, the recipe ID being run. I can type in a few letters to filter the tag I'm looking for. After I add this tag to the list, I'll set the record rate for this group. We'll use the default on change, since we're doing Delta storage. To verify that Dream Report can access the live data, I'll start monitoring. Here we see the current value of the recipe ID tag. I'm going to add another logging group, this time to log a set of analog tags at 10 second frequency. Again, the source of tags for this group will be the Simplicity OPC server, but this time we'll select a set of analog tags, levels, temperatures, etc. We then set the record rate to be every 10 seconds for this group. And there we see the live data coming through. I'm going to start running the project right away so that Dream Report can start logging our data while I'm building the new report. Let's simulate some data changes so that Dream Report has some varied data to log. OK, let's return to the Report Design Studio and create a new report. We'll start with the default report, Report 0, and give it a name. Let's leave most of the defaults, but we'll change the report generation time to be just after midnight each day. We could also trigger the report to be auto-generated based on a real-time event. This would be another reason to configure an instance of the OPC real-time server to the running Simplicity application. Here, we'll browse for the process temperature tag and look for the condition when the value exceeds 500. Finally, we'll leave the report format to be PDF and set the option to open the PDF document after generation. Now that we've set the basic report settings, let's start adding objects to the report. We'll start with an automatic statistic table to summarize data from tags selected in the Dream Report logging groups. Remember, these were real-time tags accessed from the Simplicity OPC server and then logged by Dream Report. So we must get data from Dream Report history. Click the Edit List button and select the tags for this table. I'll choose just the analog tags. Next, I'll select the time period to report. Let's use the last 15 minutes from when the report is generated. And finally, select the aggregates or functions we want to include. Let's display min, max and average values as well as the times when the min, max values occurred. We can further configure each of these functions if necessary. I'll change a couple of captions here. Since our OPC item names are pretty long, I'll replace them with shorter and more descriptive captions. Let's show the descriptions and give the table a title. I'll do some basic column formatting and we're done. Next, I'd like to include the actual recipe ID that's running at the moment the report is generated. So I'm going to pick and place a single data object on the report, name it, and then browse for the recipe ID tag. I'm going to choose the current value from the statistical functions. And that's it. No need to define a time period. Let me add a static text label, do some formatting and alignments, and that object is done. We're going to place a line chart on the report to plot historical data logged by Simplicity's native data logger. So now we need to select external history server for our data items. I'll choose the driver we configured earlier for the Simplicity historical data and then select and add a couple of tank level tags. Let me add captions for the legend and format the chart.
The final object we'll add to the report is an alarm table, and we'll use the driver we configured for the Simplicity alarm logs from SQL Server. Here you see the different alarm filters we defined earlier. We'll just use the default filter for this table. Let's use the same duration of the last 15 minutes, add a table title, and then configure how we want the alarms to be displayed. Instead of showing all alarms in every available alarm property, I'm going to roll up the individual alarms into an alarm summary, where each alarm will be listed once with the number of occurrences of that alarm. Let me change a caption and we're done. But one thing I also want to do is to format the results with red text if there are more than 25 occurrences of any alarm. I'll do that in the Advanced Options section. Finally, I'll use the Alignment tools to neaten up the report, and we'll also apply a previously created page template to our report with a header, footer, and logo. Let me save and load our report. Before I generate the report, I'm going to return to Simplicity, load in the Cherry Smack recipe, and start the batch. Although I scheduled the report to run automatically, I'll generate the report now from the Runtime Management Console. And here we see the PDF report, showing the current value of the recipe and process, which of course is Cherry Smack. The process summary table summarizes a set of tags that we are logging with Dream Report, the line chart plots data from the Simplicity data logs, and the alarm table summarizes alarms that of Simplicity has stored using its alarm and event logger. Notice the top lines are in red text because the number of logged alarms exceeds 25. And there you have the basics of connecting to, logging, and reporting on data from a GE Simplicity HMI. Thank you.